Okay, I'm going to show you how to test for your RCDs for trip times. Anyhow, we begin with our pack tester. This is a Seaward Prime Test 200, as you can see there. And I'm just going to start in this particular unit here. There's only two RCDs to be checked. One that governs the, um, the kitchen and one that governs the, the actual, um, you know, the bedrooms and the lounge room and such. This is a little sheet I put together when I go through them. And obviously afterwards, I put together a spreadsheet whereby it's well and truly detailed. But anyhow, we'll start. First of all, come over here. And you make, as you can see, there's my, that's my fuse board or my distribution board. And there are my two RCDs. They're actually ELCBs. And they're on, on. Just to show you that they're on. See that? I'll turn them back on. Now what I do is, you can see that this microwave is on. I make sure that every appliance that I know is plugged into any of the outlets is pulled out or turned off at the actual wall. And as you can see, this microwave is not. So just give me two seconds. I'm going to turn off this camcorder and I'm going to turn it back on. But I'm going to unplug everything. Back in a second. Okay, we're back here. So all the uh, appliances, that's TVs, computers, I don't know, even washing machines are all switched off, okay? So what we do then now is we plug the appliance into the outlet, all right, turn it on. As you can see here, down here, I'll just turn it to the RCD testing. Just up at the very top here, you'll see PEPN. That means everything's okay. Now, what I have been finding when I first had this meter is that sometimes this lead is slightly loose. And you see the actual exclamation mark, that warning sign that popped up there? It took me a little while to realize that while I was testing that this slightly slides out. It's a pain in the bum. And I'll put it back in. As you know, it's in. Another clever... Another downfall for, for this particular uh, tester, and it's, it's a fact, is that if the voltage is too high in the local area, it's not going to work either. That little sign will come up. So we can test the voltage. You can see it's 251. I know for a fact that if this goes up to 200 and let's say 55 plus, this meter is not going to work. So it's one of these downfalls of these meters. So beware. But anyhow, it took me a little while to suss out that one as well. And I reported it to the manufacturers. And we'll see what they say afterwards. But anyhow, we'll put it back onto RCDs. And you simply press the test. And if you heard that little trip in the background, that was the meter. See that little tick? 21 milliseconds on the zero degrees. Okay, we'll go over here. And you can see this breaker tripped off. We'll reset it. Okay. You take note of the trip time. Try and do this. Take note of the trip time. And I know the breakers. Nine, ten, twelve, twelve. The trip time was twenty-one, as you know. So now we reset it. It's on 21. And all you do is you leave it plugged in and repress it again. See? 11 milliseconds. Now you do that four times. You do it, you repeat it again, just once over. That's twice. Reset the breaker. Come back to your pack tester. Press the button, and I'm going to quickly go over to the breaker to show you. I'd like to test it. Watch. Oh, I didn't get it in time. But only up. Come back. Sorry. See, 21. Just set it. So I'll reset it again. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. All 
reset it. Come back to the uh, tester one more time. You're left with seven or eleven. So there you go. That's correct. Correct. It's ticked in my bed and it definitely passed. And that's how you test. Um, an RCD. If it actually goes above the 300 milliamps, that tick there will actually turn to an X saying that it failed. And it'll probably say failed across there, I'm not sure. I haven't come across a fail so far today. Um, but it, it will actually say tick and it'll, it'll be it. But that's it, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and log all your stuff afterwards.